Good morning, guys. <coughs> well, I look, just excuse me, you know. It's literally, I just woke up. And I'm a little sick. I feel like I have um, some type of sinus infection. My lip noise are so small. Oh, I'm a battery about to die. But I just. I came up here to tell you guys I'm about to eat a bowl of oatmeal. I know it look crazy. This is how this is what I make to feed my baby what he needs. Um, somebody eat this and watching TV, and I'll come back. I need to change my battery and stuff. So once I eat and stuff, I'll come back and we can get ready for the day and start. I guess just get into our day. Okay, so I'm back. Okay guys, so I done took a shower. I just put this on until I actually get dressed for the day because I'm not really doing much right now. My dad and my uncle is like trying to put together the baby's thing to put in the corner. So that's why my mirror is over here. And so while they doing that, I just been labeling clothes, putting clothes away for the business. I'm trying to edit the website so that it can be kind of holiday festive. And yeah, I'm sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> I'll be so out of breath but and now I'm making me something to eat just to eat on because we're hungry we're so hungry so making me something to eat real quick and then I'm supposed to be getting ready because I'm going out to eat with a friend later today so I'm gonna try to do something you know do my hair and put some lashes on for that but just came to kind of update you guys and show you guys me and my little onesie look at this boy Oh yeah, but this is the room which I have a clip put in of what it looked like before we started putting stuff in here. It still has a long way to go. I still don't have all my stuff in here. But, you know, it's getting there. It's getting there. Okay, so this is the room before we add anything into it. We decided to go with like a gray color. You can't really see the true color because we still got this old light light in here and it's not the best light. I think it's like, what color is it? Like warm, whatever. It's not that light though. But yeah, my closet is the same. We just took the doors off and we're gonna do curtains instead. We got my TV up on a mount now and we're gonna get like a shelf to put that on. This is baby Lowe's closet. Cute, cute. And then he gonna have him a little chest thing that goes in this corner. Now I have two windows instead of three. And it's like straight across instead of how it was before to give me more like room. Um, I forgot what floor this is, but we got to mop it again because we done been walking all in it and stuff. You know, so we'll mop out the closet, let it dry. Where it ain't got to dry for I start hanging stuff up. Yeah. And then um, once it get mopped, we have to walk over the section, mop, let it dry. Yeah, y'all heard pops, so. I'm about to go and then when we get back we're gonna start putting some of my stuff in here so that I can kind of get moved back in so I just came to check in it's already like 12 o'clock and I've been up since like 7 maybe so yeah 
I'm about to go feed us real quick and finish doing the website. Um, I need to go ahead and create my like vlogmas theme stuff. I don't have a, an actual intro. I'm just going to create a simple intro. Not even create. I'm going to link her channel and stuff down. I'm using her templates and stuff just to make something real simple real quick. Today's going to be a real simple vlog. I really have nothing planned today. And I'll probably give you guys a pregnancy update in this video. Because I have not been talking about my pregnancy lately and it's been a lot, okay? But I'm about to go ahead and feed us. So I'll see you guys whenever I come back. I'm trying to show y'all <laughs> what I'm wearing. But the way that my windows in my room is set up, the lighting looks. I need to try on. But you already know the deal. Hair shops in city. It needs to be washed and more makeup applied. But yeah, this is the five by five closure wig, lashes, shops in city, of course. But um, it's gonna be dark because how the lighting is. But this is what I'm wearing. Of course, I'm putting on different shoes. Probably just my boots, to be honest. But I'm still trying to figure out how I feel. Cause my mama said it's giving like I'm wearing a dress. It's cute. Logan is on full show. Oh yeah, this is the thing that they built for him today. Gotta put his stuff in there. But I think this is cute and simple just for going to eat yeah I probably am. so yeah we gotta put some lip gloss on I think it's cute though it's cute it's it's giving I didn't even start like seeing a doctor. I was still seeing my normal 
OBGYN. So, she, we, we had did my blood tests and stuff. And when I went back to get my results and to get the paperwork for my gender reveal, she ended up telling me that the blood work got flagged for something called spinal bifida, which I have on the screen kind of what it is. If you want to know more about it, you can look up yourself. But basically, it's just a spinal defect. And can you go over, you know, because you know you can't go over, so if you want, anyway. So, yeah, spinal bifida, spinal defect, and I had to wait two whole weeks to get the ultrasound to figure out how much truth was to that. So, spent two weeks stressing. Yeah, I was stressing. I was just like, oh my gosh, like I don't want my baby to have to look at like that would be a whole mess. So we went back and I had switched hospitals all together. Went to a new hospital, um, got the ultrasound done and they ended up marking me high risk. Cause I went and got my ultrasound but they didn't actually look at his you know his body parts and stuff it was just a regular ultrasound just looking at the baby so had to go to another ultrasound on the fetal floor which is like for high risk pregnancies and stuff and got that ultrasound done and his spine was looking good there was no problems with his spine and the next thing that was like well if his spine fine let's check his stomach to make sure it's not his stomach his stomach was perfectly fine but they still was marking me high risk because it was like it had to be a reason why that got flagged like because it wasn't no like oh it's like a small possibility like the number that i was flagged with was pretty high so went from there had to keep going we were basically going to go see them every two weeks because they also seen that he was small so he's measuring a little small but again i have to tell people if you if you have met the father of my child or anything, he's a smaller person. Like he's shorter than me. I'm five five, and I think he's like five four, probably like five three and a half. But he's probably like five four. So he smiles. So it's just like okay, he smile. I'm barely on average height. So what? Like we're not about to have no six foot baby. Like no six. Like my kid is not gonna be that big. <laughs> But they are just like, he's measuring pretty small. So, ended up, I had to get something called a amniosis, amniotesis. It's something. Again, I'll put some information about it on the screen. Kind of like what the definition of it is. So, I had to get that done where they had to stick the needle in my stomach to take some fluid. And y'all, my son cut up. He could slam up. He did not enjoy. I guess he just didn't want me to have to go through that. He could slam up. So, had to do that, that was so stressful. Had to wait for those results. Then, for some reason, I got something in the mail claiming that, claiming that um his nasal bone was absent, which is a sign of Down syndrome. Could be a sign of him having Down syndrome. Even though all my tests came back, you know, saying that that was not nothing to worry about. They were saying that that's a possibility as well so i had to wait again for because i i see my regular OBGYN doctors the ones that if, whenever i go into labor one of them will be the one to deliver my baby i had to um have to high risk doctor and then also i have to i don't have to see them but they keep in contact with me a genetic doctor because a lot of this stuff they're saying is like it could be that he could have a some type of genetic problem not problem but some type of genetic disorder possibly but they don't tell me at this point they really want no one till he's here because everything that they could possibly think of for it being he's testing you know normal for so it's just like they don't know what the world but they just want to be on the safe side so i just been going through weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks of testing of them thinking one thing thinking another being stressed out just miss y'all they've been stressing little low mama out okay okay they've been stressing out 
So now we're waiting on the last test that they've done to see if that comes back normal because all of his tests been come back normal like, as I stated. So I'm at this point I don't care no I can say I don't care no more, but like I don't think there's nothing wrong with my baby. I don't think that he has I think that he's gonna come out and be in the words of you know the hospital and science and stuff he's gonna be normal he's just going to be a small baby like i mean how big do they expect him to be <laughs> but yeah that's the only thing he is small and they feel like he's small at this point because of my placenta because i eat and stuff but if if my placenta isn't working correctly he can't get what he needs so they that's what so they just want now go every week and they want to watch and make sure that if it is my placenta, there's no chance for my placenta to shut down and him not get anything at all. So as long as he's doing good inside of mama, he'll stay inside of mama. But if there's any time that I go and they check and they feel like he'll be better outside of me, then they're going to take him outside. Me. They're going to take him early. So that's where we at. But other than that, he's doing perfectly fine. He is beating on his mama. He beats on me like a drum. He fights me. He do all that crazy stuff. <laughs> Y'all, he be fighting me so bad. But very active. He be in a flipping. He finally showed his face. I haven't actually showed. Um, I got a 3D ultrasound. Like, just one picture of his face. I haven't actually showed that to, like, social media or anything. I really only showed it to, like, family and a few friends. But... He finally showed his face and he looks like my family. He has our nose. Like he looks like he looks like me, okay. He looks like me and my I told my uncle, my uncle Aaron and my cousin little Aaron that I mean y'all don't know who that is, but anyway. I told him that they he looks like them <laughs> and his thing. So yeah, other than that, he's doing perfectly fine in there. So I feel like he's fine. I'm not worried. But yeah, to sum everything up, that's the update of what's going on with my baby boy. So, yeah, I'm about to check in with you guys later because I need my GPS. I'm really just riding, like, hoping that I'm going to ride. I'll holla. Four dollars. I'll be back. I'll check back in with you guys whenever I check back in with you guys. Alright y'all, I'm home now and I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here so I can go ahead and start editing it to have it up today. Um, I really don't know what to say y'all, I'm so tired. I just pulled him out the skirt and all that. But um, before I go to bed, all I'm going to do is put some of his stuff up in the bins that I got and get ready for bed so I can do this all over again tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed the first day of vlogmas stay tuned i'm gonna try to be as consistent and put out these daily vlogs so i'll see you guys tomorrow in day two peace love you guys see you guys later